Hey guys, Frankie Jacks here, and I just finished watching a bootleg copy of Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. And some dude's driving around on a motorcycle in a freaking neighborhood. Dick. Loud pipes save lives? My ass. Loud pipes to show off that you have a tiny weenie. Little teeny tiny. Yeah, the louder your pipes, the smaller your ding dong, okay, buddy? The smaller your clutch pedal. Anyway, uh, the movie version of the novel, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Sucks balls. I'm watching my daughter swim here. Sorry. Keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on you. Same time. You okay, baby? You're fine. You're fine. Just okay. You can stand there. That's great. The movie sucked. It was horrible. It left so much out. So much detail. You were left to try and piece together. Maybe they're hoping that nobody read the book and that the movie would stand by itself. Which you know it might have. It might have capitalized on the whole vampire thing. You CS's. Whoever made the movie, I don't even know because bootlegs traditionally cut off the credits. And it's very blurry, so you can't read it anyway. But, uh, horrible. The only good thing about it was a fight scene that took place on a train. Totally unbelievable, but pretty badass all the same. Uh, all in all, if you're thinking about seeing Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, the movie, don't. Just go read the book and tell yourself, wow, I'm going to picture this in my mind and say, you know what, that's a good movie that's going on in my mind right now. Because books, that's theater for the mind. Where's that radio? I don't know. In any case, don't go see that movie. Sucks ass. I'm so glad I got it on bootleg instead of going to the theater. Paying, you know, $35 for me and the wife to go see it. I paid three for ten. Three for ten. What else did I get? I got uh, that other movie, Ted. That was pretty cool. I'll review that one later. Thanks.